Hi guys, how are you doing today? Beautiful day here in Galway and uh, today I'm going to talk about food. So, you know, we've mentioned that eating healthy is uh, one of the 10 steps and to be honest it's something that I've, um, I've been kind of reluctant to talk about because I don't feel like that I have any right to tell people what they should be eating or anything like that and you know many people have very strong opinions on this from vegetarianism to veganism to all sorts of things. Um, but here's what I'm going to go do. I'm just going to tell you what I do, um, why I do it and um, you know I have a kind of a, a process and a kind of bit of fun around uh, my food and that kind of thing so I'll share that with you and if you like it great and if you don't then that's okay. So, so basically like for me like I love steak, I love french fries, uh, I don't particularly like lettuce, I don't really eat salads, I'm very bad at eating fruits and that's kind of the way I've been like most of, most of my life. Um, I've been lucky in that um, we must have a gene in my family that doesn't allow us to put on very much weight because we tend not to do that. Um, so, but I do realize that when I eat like that, it certainly doesn't help my energy. In fact, it, it, it does definitely affect my product productivity and I've kind of tested that out uh, on, a, on a number of occasions and I know there's uh, it affects my productivity, which therefore affects my work, which therefore affects the amount of money I make. And, uh, and so when you think about it that way, eating well and having better energy certainly uh, is something we should all be doing. All right, so what do I do about it? Well, the first thing is I've never really understood or never tried to understand calories. It's not something that I want to be counting. I don't want to be tracking what I'm eating from that point of view or anything. So what I try and do is, is just to stay as like close to natural foods as possible. And, I, and what do I mean by that? So broadly speaking, um, what I try and do is just buy in the very beginning the right kinds of foods. And what I found works for me is to, um, to make a little adventure out of it, to make some fun out of it. So my son and I, uh, every Saturday morning, uh, we go to the local market here in Galway and we spend some time going around the market and trying new foods and buying new things to try out but you know mainly sticking to the organic stalls and that kind of thing and so he for example has become he's become really interested in it so when we go to the fish stall uh, he's the one who chooses the fish and the rule in our house is you choose the fish then you got to clean it so he gets involved in that and that's a really important part of this for me as well that I can try and pass on some of this uh, to to my son so he might decide he wants to buy squid and uh, then we've got to look online and see, well, how do you clean the squid and how do you repair that? And he'll, he'll do all that. Of course, I'll help him, but, uh, but he'll do all that kind of stuff. And so he's learning from a very early age what's good about food and that kind of thing. And so basically um, what I do is I try and spend that Saturday buying, I kind of think of it as my energy. So that's the way the little game I play for myself. I try and buy as much energy for myself for the week um, on that Saturday, just in the knowledge that I don't want to buy anything that's uh, you know that's gonna I'm gonna to have to throw in, in in the trash. That's not something I, I ever want to do with food. So so what I try and do is stick as close to the farm as possible. Um, food that has as few ingredients as possible, and try in as much as possible to eat foods where I understand the ingredients. And that doesn't to say I understand a lot. So if I find that I don't understand the ingredients on something, then um, I'm not going to study it, and I tend to kind of shy away from that. And so what I'm trying to keep away from here is foods that are, that are highly processed or processed really in, you know, food processed foods. I'm trying to keep away from them. And, and so looking for foods that I understand what's in them. Um, there's less than say 10 ingredients in them and, uh, and that are as close to the farm as possible. So that's why we visit the organic uh, stalls. We buy our fish uh, straight from the, the fishmonger. I never buy it in the supermarket. I buy our meat from an organic meat supplier at the market. And so we go up there with the bikes on a Saturday and we fill up two big saddlebags of stuff and we bring it back home. And that's kind of our, our energy for the week. So what I've done is um, I've just done a few short video clips of what it's like up on our market. And I know that's not available to everybody, but you know, there are pretty much organic shops now wherever you are, or if you're lucky enough to live in the countryside, then you can often buy stuff uh, a lot closer to the farm than that. Um, so. I've done those short clips. I've also done a couple of clips of, um, of you know, what uh, I eat myself for my breakfast, just because that's a really important one for me to make sure that when I get into the office, I have a ton of energy. And I've also done um, 
a little clip just to show you where I actually grow a little bit of my own food just to just to kind of supplement some stuff so we're gonna go through that and um, and I think like the main thing here is that um, you need to enjoy this you need to figure out a way to enjoy this because it will have an imp impact on your energy which will have an impact on your productivity which will have an income in, in, an impact on your on your income but also I feel that if you are full of energy you're going to share that energy you're going to that energy is going to be given off to your prospects the people you're talking to every day and uh, and that's going to make an impact like that's going to change the way you the conversations that you that you have with them and it's going to change uh, hopefully get you more sales so we're going to have a look at those now in a second but just right now i'm just going to show you where i'm sitting here because i'm sitting in a lovely place just down on the docks in galway i've just taken my lunch break and I've actually shared a picture of my lunch as well with you today in those videos so let me just see if I can swing this around to see where I am here so there we go yeah how's that so those uh, those boats that are in the background there are called Galway hookers they're the traditional boats uh, from this from this part of the world so um, I'm going to um, stop this one now and uh, we'll talk again in a couple of minutes. So here we go on a visit to the market in Galway. And uh, I just want to show you some of the things we, we buy, the stuff we look at, how we think. So um, so here we look at wh when, we're, when we're buying honey, right? So there's a lot of honey. Um, I have a friend who, who, who keeps bees and there's a lot of honey that's mixed with other stuff, right? And um, so I, I'm gonna, my, my son loves honey and I want to make sure that if he's eating honey, he gets the, the best possible honey there's out there. Don't want to be trying some stuff that's kind of mixed in with some kind of sugary syrup or something like that. And you find that in a, a, with a lot of stuff at the moment. So here's Gannett Fishmongers in the market. It's where we buy all our fish and we know all these guys well. All the fish comes from locally and it's my son who actually chooses what fish we're going to have during the week. And then it's his job to prepare it, to, to clean it out, obviously, with my help. So uh, so that's a little adventure that we both have. And we both learn a little bit from that every week. So I like doing that. Vegetable stalls, we've got lots of them around um, and all types of vegetables. But everything is local here. Everything is organic. And um, and so, and this is kind of really where I see like the vibrant colors here. That's really where I feel like that I'm getting my my energy from uh, during the week. So um we you, we visit you know three or four of these stalls um and I'll buy a lot of lettuce here um that's kind of my lunches throughout the week and the one thing that I've uh, learned is that I don't really like lettuce so much um but what I do like is when it's all different types of lettuce mixed in together and um and then you get some kind of spicy stuff in there and all that kind of thing so um so we uh, I buy lots of different types of leaves that are that are kind of mixed together and I love that then. I really, really enjoy that. So part of this is about finding a way for you to to enjoy the foods that you should like. And um, I also uh, grow my own lettuce at home, which you'll see here. Um, I grow lettuce, I grow parsley, I grow basil, I grow uh, coriander, I grow tarragon and stuff like that. So that kind of supplements some of the food and chives and that kind of thing as well. That supplements some of the food that we use. And then um, I also have... Uh, about three apple trees in the garden as well so around this time of the year now we get loads of really really nice um fresh apples and since i started eating those apples i find it hard to eat apples out of the shop anymore so we're back at the house now this is our kitchen and uh, this is what we bought today at the market so overall like everything here is organic um some nice organic meat some nice uh, very fresh fish just uh, caught locally and so let's let's have a look at what we got here okay so one big bowl of leaves so that's really where i see my energy coming from during the week so i buy that and then i supplement that with other uh, lettuce that i have from the garden those beets i use them for juice in the morning and i also use them uh, i also use them for salads there's our honey we've got some mushrooms there for making nice salads and that kind of thing with um these uh, radishes really just add a little bit of spice to the salad and spice it up a little bit uh, everything here organic just the base stuff for making uh, stews and various different things like that with the with the onions and um and uh garlic and carrots and all that kind of stuff so you know this is really like when i look at this and i look at all the color here i just see like a big ball of energy and that's what's going to kind of keep me going for the um for for the week and so i supplement this like there's other foods as well we buy during the week but what i'm trying to do here is have uh like a kind of a stash so that you know if we're stuck for something 
whatever we happen to have in the house is something healthy. So there's no pizzas hanging around in the house. You know, it's not to say that I wouldn't eat pizza. Of course I would, but but it's not um, it's not when we're stuck for something we're going to end up with a pizza because I don't keep stuff like that in the freezer. What I do to keep in the freezer is we cook batches of food. And so often on a Saturday after the market, uh, Max will help me and we'll cook a big batch of food and we'll like break that up into into meals and we put it in the freezer and we might use some of it next week or you know whenever we're busy and that kind of thing. So I find that very good. And that means, again, you're not like ringing out for pizza or anything like that. You've got something nice and fresh um, and homemade in the house. So that's a, that's a, a really good tip to have. So uh, so now let's have a look at what 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 the morning looks like in my house. So uh, this morning I um, I just when I was making breakfast I decided I'd just do a little video of that. So let's have a look at breakfast and lunch. Uh, so over here this is uh, my lunch for today. So it's like tons of leaves, um, tomatoes and uh, radishes and uh, and avocado. And uh, we'll come back and talk a little bit about that in a moment. This is what I make my juice out of. You'll notice that some of these things are frozen. So that's, again, making it easy for myself. If I buy a cucumber, I'll chop up some of it or some carrot. I keep them all these small bits in the freezer. So I use them for, uh, for my juice in the morning. And when I blend it up, it's nice and cool and that kind of thing. Big lump of ginger in that as well. Some beets and some oranges and stuff. It's kind of whatever we have around the house. I don't have recipes for this. I just like throw in whatever's there. So then I have my cereal. I use these oats, which I, I cook with a little bit of milk and, and, and some water and my cup of tea. Here's my juice when it's made. So the beet is actually coloring all that. So again, every day it's going to be different. Um, but <laughs> kind of it looks interesting, right? Um, so in there, I've got a, a lot of ginger, which gives it a nice spicy flavor. And uh, we've got lots of, um, you know, orange. We've got cucumber in there. There's, um, what else have we got in there today? So there's, there's, there's carrot, there's banana. And, uh, you know, as I say, whatever's around, but just to get me some fruit, because I actually don't like eating fruit. Most fruit, I just, I don't know what it is about it. I just, it's not the flavor. It's, I think it's the... Um, I think it's a consistency I don't like. And so this way, I know it just allows me to get um, like a few portions of fruit for the day. Otherwise, I just wouldn't do it. And so again, it's about making it easy for yourself. When you make it easy for yourself uh, and make it a little bit more fun for yourself, you're way more likely to succeed at this. So the other thing, if you remember back to the lunch, you'll see um, one of the other issues for me with, with salads is, you know, I told you I don't like lettuce. So mixing all the lettuce and making it a little bit of spicy helps. Putting in radishes and stuff like that spices it up. That helps too. But also one of my other like pet hates was having to deal with, um, you know, the carrying around um, salad dressing or something like that. So what I do is I just put one piece of lemon in there and at my desk then I have a big uh, bottle of olive oil. So every day when I'm making my salad, just put a squeeze of lemon in it and put some olive oil in it. And then that's absolutely perfect. I, I love that. Um, the other thing about making it easy is like in my desk, I keep like snacks in my desk. So rather than getting hungry and going out to buy a bar of chocolate, I make sure that I've got nuts and stuff like that in my in my desk so that uh, I'm more liable to go to that. I may have a bar of chocolate sometimes. I don't not have chocolate, but but it means it's just it's easier for me to eat something healthy. And that's what a lot of this is. It's like make it easy for yourself to make healthy choices. So like having the healthy food in the house, not having pizza there, having the nuts in the drawer, not having chocolate in the drawer, that kind of stuff, just that can actually make a huge difference to this. And so, um, you know, even things that like we need to be careful of that look healthy or might seem healthy, like even cereal bars and stuff like that, that, you know, you look at that and you go, okay, that's pretty healthy. But if you look at the amount of sugar that's in those things, it's like overwhelming like it's 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 just crazy so i do eat them sometimes it's not like this is all i eat guys i still go out and i have like i have a, like i have a steak uh, you know usually at the weekends i kind of relax everything and i you know i have a, i can have a steak and chips at the weekend or whatever i don't worry about that at all um but just if i keep myself like you know healthy during the week and keep uh, this kind of energetic food in my body um during the week and as i said to you every time i look at that salad or i look at that 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 fruit or uh, the fruit juice it feels to me like there's my energy like that's what i'm looking at there's there's a, there's a big ball of energy that i'm going to use for the day today so uh, so that's it on food again this is just what i do i know everybody has different opinions on food i know people know some people say you shouldn't uh, juice up fruit the way i do that's just the only way that for me i'm going to do it so that's what i do um and and you know everybody do their own i just wanted to share some of the things but i think like there's one thing that you could take out of this is 
or well, two things actually, make the food fun, make healthy food fun. And secondly, make it easy for you to make those healthy decisions by having that healthy food around and not having the other stuff around it that, that you know you shouldn't be eating. So whether you're vegetarian or vegan or you eat meat only or whatever it is, it doesn't matter. But whatever you're going to do, whatever you decide is healthy for you, then, you know, make sure that's around you. Make sure that when you open the drawer, that's there and it's the it's the easiest thing for you to grab. And that's the kind of stuff uh, that's going to make a difference. Thanks, guys.